Instagram SEO is actually one of the best ways to get found on Instagram without ads and completely free. So you might already be familiar with SEO or search engine optimization, which let's be honest, a bit of a mouthful to say, um, as we know it, but only on places, let's say on search engines such as Google. However, did you know that Instagram also now has built in SEO that you can also take advantage of and actually be able to give yourself or your brand a much bigger visibility and exposure for completely free without paying a dime. So when you go on Instagram, the Instagram discovery page, or basically if you go into your app, it's that little magnifying glass that you see on the bottom of the app. And when you go there, there's actually one of the best ways for audiences on Instagram to find content like yours in your industry. And that is where the SEO magic really happens. So on the discovery page, your audience will be able to find the content like yours by using keywords and also using hashtags. So let's not dive into my top three tips on how audiences can actually find your content by using Instagram SEO strategy the right way. So my first tip is to make sure to use keywords that audiences are actually using on Instagram to find brands and also businesses like yours in your profile name, which is basically that black bold line that you currently have in your Instagram bio. So this is where you should do some brainstorming on some of the keywords that audiences might be using if you were in their shoes to look for places or businesses and brands like you. So let's say, for example, you currently do makeup as a makeup artist, then make sure to have that keyword in your Instagram bio so you will show up when someone searches for makeup artist. And similarly, let's say you are a personal trainer and to make sure to have those kind of keywords in your Instagram profile name as well. Now, the second tip is to write captions that has these keywords in your caption and actually relates to what your content is all about on Instagram. By writing keywords that are relevant to your content in your caption, it helps Instagram to recognize what's in your content itself. So even though you may currently have, let's say a quote that has some of these keywords in there on the actual image, it's much better to also have those keywords in your caption as well. So Instagram can actually pick them up when it comes to Instagram SEO. So for example, using something like indoor gardening. So if you currently are in that space, then to make sure to have indoor gardening tips as an example is one of the keywords that you could have in your captions when you're sharing tips around some of the things that you're teaching your audiences on Instagram. And a great way to get inspired and also seeing some of the keywords that may be used by your competitors or audiences who are looking for businesses like yours is to type them into the search box. When you go into Instagram, click on the little magnifying glass on the bottom and then also type in the keywords that you're thinking about that could potentially lead up to the searches that come up across your content and to see what others are sharing underneath those keywords as well. Now, my last tip, tip number three, is to make sure to pick hashtags that are relevant to your content on Instagram when you're sharing your post. Now, there's lots of rumors out there about how you can't use all 30 hashtags, which is currently the legal limit of what Instagram allow you to use. Then why not use all 30 to give yourself the actual maximum exposure possible? in my opinion anyway. If you currently need help on finding the right hashtags for your posts on Instagram, then I recommend looking into Instagram, the platform itself first, by typing in some of the keywords or hashtags that you know that your audience might be using, and it will actually bring up all the relevant hashtags underneath the ones that you're searching for to give you some more ideas. And even better, I recommend this tool called Flick, which is basically a great place to find fantastic hashtags that are actually low on competition, which means that less people are using them, but at the same time giving you the high visibility that you're looking for and also engagement behind that to make sure you're reaching the right audiences at the right time. And what the best part is, they will also tell you when hashtags are banned so you can remove them from your list of hashtags going forward. So check out Flick, it's all linked below in the description of the video. I hope that you found the video helpful and also useful in getting your Instagram SEO strategies in place. I'm Lori Wang, I'm a social media strategist with over a decade experience, and I love creating content like this to help you level up your social media, marketing, and business skills. So don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.